there's all sorts of interesting things going on and it isn't anything to do with that horizon line you know there's all that fantastic texture really interesting lines of the dry stone walls and the trees on the hill in the distance the shapes the lights and darks textures of these trees closer up you know i was saying in a studio about these grasses that are in front of you <laughs> well there they are look, just those grasses there um so you know you can look close up you can look further away rather than trying to take in the whole thing so i think the temptation is that when you turn up somewhere like this it's you know what am i going to do with with that because it's it's a you know a big expansive landscape and the idea that somehow you've got to do it justice and it's all these things kind of pile pressure on your uh you know your your thought processes so what i tend to do when i come somewhere particularly somewhere if i haven't been before is just try and focus in on small areas and do lots of quick sketches based on different parts of what's here so throughout the morning you're going to get a sense of where you are um, and i also think that through the the course of of drawing you actually get to find out what what it is about this landscape that interests you um because i think if you just turned up here and just started to try and do one drawing or one painting of this place and you're never really exploring it you're just picking something say okay i'm going to do a painting that's going to be based on that part over there where there's that kind of ridge going up here and those lines of the fields and that's going to be it but you don't you're not really exploring it because mm -hmm. there's, there's an awful lot going on here like this stuff closer up like the even like the gate and the trees and the walls and these trees over here and even behind us as well you could turn around and look back this way because it's quite interesting back there too so there's lots going on here um, so if you just turn up just trying to do one thing you're not exploring this place so i think it's really most useful to do lots of very quick um, energetic kind of sketches so that you really get a sense of where you are so just try and get a bit of water on the paper and, and try and make as many different types of marks as possible and like i said don't start with that kind of horizon line but i'm just looking at the marks of these uh, trees up against the hillside and some of the lines of the the, uh, the walls and the field divisions and try and get a sense of the movement and I think sometimes if you describe a mark if you see a mark like those little sheep dots of those little sheep there's these little dotty marks against you can't you know you know they're sheep you can't really see that they're sheep what they are from here is a little dot and if you make a sometimes if you describe a mark to yourself say oh it's a dotty it's a dotty mark and then you make a mark on your paper from that description so that you're actually trying to find ways of um, getting a sense of what's there rather than trying to analyze it too closely There's quite a lot of contrast here. I think sometimes it's really useful if you screw your eyes up really tight and it takes away any detail that's there and you start seeing the darks and lights. And immediately I started spotting all those um, trees. So you get these kind of spindly trees where the leaves haven't come out yet, but the trees, are, the branches of the trees are quite dark. So let's get some of that in there as well. And in front here where the wall is, have some good contrast in there as well so also when you're working like this if you can get the really good darks of the charcoal but also if you leave the paper as well you've got that that contrast between the darkest you can get your charcoal and then the light of the paper and then you've got all that other stuff in between all the different tones and textures And more than anything, you want to try and get the energy of it as well. Another, I've got a charcoal pencil here and it actually makes it, because it's a slightly finer mark, but there's a, a mixture. Um, so you've got the heavier marks of the, the compressed charcoal, and then these finer 
marks as well, it's quite nice. I've got a few pencils here, if you want to borrow some, if you want to give it a go, if you haven't got any, that's fine. Yeah, that's probably enough on that one. And then, so I'd leave that one and then do another 10, you know, so that when you get back to the studio, um, you've got lots of material to play around with because we're going to be tearing them up and recomposing them. So whatever's on here, we're just going to be using the marks and the energy might be turning it round, might go, you know, might be upside down. Just going to use that energy and not going to worry about trying to make pictures at this stage. And that can come later on. So it's really useful to separate those processes out where you're here we're doing reacting to what's there. We're really reacting to the the textures and the, the lights and the darks and the, the shapes. And later on we can think about putting it together and thinking about composition. Thank you.